Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, I just realized that I that we haven't solved a uh, math problem in a while. Um, so I thought it was a good idea today to um, kind of go back to the basics a little bit in math. And uh, math is actually part of the exam, mind you. Um, granted, you know, some of these subjects are pretty basic, but uh, you got algebra in there. This is for the ex FE exam, by the way. Um, you got algebra. Uh, co complex numbers, differential equations in there, um, but look at the number of questions here. Like it's probably the most questions actually. I didn't never notice that. You got like eleven to seventeen questions in math just for the FE exam. So you know it's one of the subjects that you want to make sure that um, you don't miss out because some of the concepts are you know kind of go way back, but still you want to make sure that. Um, you, you get the max maximum points out there. So let's solve, um, you know, it, a typical FE exam questions. This is about inflection, um, you know, inflection on the curve. So it's just a matter of remembering what is it exactly. So the question here is to find, you know, the only point of inflection on a curve representing this quadratic equation right here. So the first thing uh, you do is just take the derivative, to, you know, uh, the second degree derivative, and then the problem is solved and set that equal to zero. If you remember, if you recall your calculus class, I don't know if this is calculus or algebra, but uh, it goes way back, way back to the basics. So um, let's set that up. So the equation here is given as y equals x cubed plus x squared minus 3. So you want to take the derivative um, of y, first derivative, and set that equal to 0. I mean, uh, first derivative of this equation right here, which if you recall, um, is 3x squared plus 2x. And then the second derivative of that is what you actually set to 0. It's 2 times 3 is 6x plus 2. So if you want to find the um, point of inflection here, you set that equation equal to um, equal to 0. So 6x plus 2 uh, equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to uh, minus 1 over 3. So we're not really going to graph this here um, because I'm sure in the exam you'll get like multiple choice questions so you right away you can just go in and get the um, the right answer but if you notice here for the second derivative is negative below x equals minus one third right and then of course it's positive above that so if since we set the second derivative equal to zero and um, this changes as the sign uh, changes at x equals minus minus one third. This is the inflection point right here. So if you have multiple choice questions where you see this number right here, um, that that's really the right answer. But eventually, I mean, not eventually, but ultimately, what you want to remember is in order for you to find the point of inflection on a curve, you have to set you have to find the second derivative of that e quadratic equation and set it to zero. That's one thing to remember. So that's about it, really. But um, let me know if you have any any questions. But again, math is one of those subjects that um, it goes way back. So e there you have like maximum of 17 questions on it on the exam. Is You have to make sure that you get those right because can't get any easier than you know the math than math on the exam so you make would make sure it's some somebody's core concept that are really basic that you understand them that you remember them that you get them right in order to get your 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 17 17 points I mean it makes a lot of a uh, lot of difference so let me know if you have any questions or if there's any other topic that you want me to cover uh, for next video see you next time